Right. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining us this morning for our partner webinar on our first at last 2.0 campaign. We're excited to have uh, over 40 people joining us and look forward to kind of walking you through the campaign here and then most importantly, sharing some ways on how you can get involved with it as well. But before we do that, we had to take a moment to just have a little bit of a reflection. So if you could indulge us for a minute, we wanted to have a round of applause. Yeah, there we go. Um, for those of us that were at ESTO uh, this week, our fearless leader, Whit Tuttle, who is on this call and probably has his camera turned off, um, received a very distinguished honor as the State Tourism Director of the Year. And we just had to take a moment to give him a little virtual clap out. So if everyone could just join us. It's a well-deserved honor. And uh, for those of you that know Wit, I think you'll not be surprised to hear that when we asked him how he wanted to celebrate that evening, uh, his answer was, I'm turning down all other offers. I just want to hang out with the team, which is exactly what makes him the State Tourism Director of the Year. So thanks to everybody that helped vote uh, in the Mercury Awards as well. Our campaign for, uh, uh, for the drive through vacations won in its category. And then more importantly, everybody on this call hopefully was voting um, for the People's Choice Award uh, and we brought that home as well. So we have two awards for the state campaign and probably even more special to us, you know, Whit was honored as the State Tourism Director of the Year. So um, thanks to everybody that participated in the voting. And, and if you haven't reached uh, out yet, please feel free to send Whit a note um, either of love or an embarrassing one because you know how Whit likes to roll, so. I'm Scott Peacock, for those that haven't met me yet, I'm the State uh, Tourism Office and Marketing Director. And joining me today is a team of internal and agency folks on our, on our, our staff. So I've got Katie Bailey, our Tourism Marketing Manager joining us. And then we have Maggie and Kylie and Josh from our agency, Luke Wire in Charlotte that will also be presenting today. So if you guys have questions at all, feel free to put them in the chat function and we will have a Q&A at the end. Um, and we'll even have a little bit of live Q&A if we need to, if people have some burning questions um, that come up after the chat. So thanks for joining us and we'll get on with the show. All right, so our campaign overall, as you guys know, we launched this and, and informed everybody at the conference about it back in March. And you're probably wondering why it's taken us so long to come back around to you on it. The reason is our funding that we needed for the campaign, the recovery funds did not come through to us uh, until just a few weeks ago. So uh, we had to sort of pause the paid promotional part of this campaign through the summer and we're purely working on organic as well as just making sure that all these films that we talked to you about were getting shot and edited and, and ready to go. So we're now ready to launch the paid promotional effort behind this campaign and thus now is the perfect time to get all of our partners involved and kind of update you on it and let you know how you can capitalize off the momentum. The high level KPIs for this is to increase travel and then with first party data being such a big important factor for us moving forward is a way for us to capture some new emails and get some more people to opt into um, subscribing to our ongoing communications. As we mentioned um, at the conference for anyone that was there, there are 12 total films. And when you add up all the different shot locations for each film, here's sort of a rough map that sort of outlines, you know, what parts of the state are going to be featured in the actual documentary films themselves. Um, but we've also got a really cool way of showcasing other parts of the state that were not included in the film, which we'll talk about moving down here in the presentation as well. The campaign has four main components to it. Uh, the People's Choice Contest, which will run um, in, or which we ran already in, in mid-April. And then the uh, documentary filmmakers themselves went out and shot all the films. They're all complete now, as of a couple weeks ago. And then the core ongoing brand campaign, um, which is intended to inspire travel, as we mentioned. And then the last component of it is a film series competition, which we're getting ready to kick off here shortly, um, with the overall winner being selected by popular vote um, once all the films have been put out there. Want to show you guys a little bit of the creative work that we put behind the campaign. So uh, first, we'll show you guys one of our quick little um, video spots for it, and then you can see on the right side of the screen some examples of some of our social content for it. There's 
there's a first time for everything. But it's the special ones that last. Moments that are so magical, they almost seem like fiction. Action adventures, thrillers, love stories. But here, the stories are undeniably real, each based on a true vacation. These aren't stories you'll remember. These are ones you'll never forget. Here's a couple of examples of some of the print ads. Um, as you can see here, you know, we're making sure to, to cover the entire state. So there's some examples here of some interbanks, um, some stuff in the Piedmont, as well as in the mountains. So we've taken the subject matter of these films and found a way to try to broaden that appeal of whatever was in that specific location to have like-minded destinations around the state. And that's how we're sort of amplifying this to really get more coverage for everybody, not just the actual locales that are literally featured in the films. But now I'm gonna hand over to Katie Bailey to talk a little bit about each film and talk about how we're rolling them out and those components of this campaign. Thanks, Scott. Um, hello, everyone. I'm Katie Bailey. Um, I am the tourism marketing manager at Visit North Carolina. I started in April, so pretty new. I've met some of you and looking forward to getting to know all of you, um, hopefully soon. So uh, FTL 2.0 is really exciting campaign that we're uh, thrilled to be moving into this next section. Um, we, if you go back to the, the previous slide, Scott, thanks. So we have all 12 of our films now live on our website. Um, hope that y'all have had the opportunity to check those out. Um, including the, the People's Choice Award winner, which was the State That Heals, now known as the Road to North Carolina. Um, the next step within this campaign is the film series competition, where voting will be open um, starting August 22nd through the end of September. Um, and basically, people will again have the opportunity to choose their favorite film out of the whole slate of dozen of films that we've got. Um, and the winning film will receive a grand prize, which will be pretty exciting for them. So um, big next steps for this. To go over kind of the you know overview of the films, as Scott said, you can go to the next slide, Scott. There is um, a whole, you know, it runs the gamut of not only the state, but thematically and um, activity wise, we, we really chose films that um, could capture the feeling of uh, a first vacation or a first activity, what, whatever it is in North Carolina. And so even if a film isn't necessarily in your area or portraying an activity that you all um, have, we're hoping that um, the themes, the themes of families together, of uh, opening new businesses, of music, of sports um, can, uh, you know, you can be inspired by it throughout your partner destinations and, and be able to take advantage of it. So um, I encourage y'all to go look at all of them if you wanna keep going, Scott. We've got films that, um, you know, are hiking trips with families um, that is a bachelor's trip reimagined in Charlotte, um, um, kind of going off of experiences from childhood for folks who are revisiting what those meant for them. Um, there's the beginning of uh, an award-winning coffee roaster film and uh, the launching of a musical career, uh, the launching of a, a successful sporting career, um, as well as just a lot of really beautiful storytelling uh, throughout the state. Um, and so in order to make sure that all of you all can take advantage of these films that we've spent a lot of time, I can speak for our agency and the rest of our team that it has been a lot of work to get to this place and we're so excited that they're all live now. Um, we have created a partner toolkit um, to share all out with all of you that basically allows you to take advantage of the films that, that we've produced and, and put out to get travelers to think about creating firsts in your area. Um, so we're really wanting to make this usable for all of our partners that, you know, you can take advantage of 
uh, the reach and engagement and the funding that we're putting behind this campaign to then demonstrate that with the activities, the regions, the themes that you can do within your partner areas. So um, we're really excited to be um, putting this out there and I'm going to turn it over to Josh and Maggie from our team at LukeWire to talk about the specifics that you can take advantage of. Awesome, thank you so much, Katie. And yes, uh, my name is Josh Tagium. I'm Associate Creative Director at LukeWire and I will let Maggie introduce herself also. Go ahead, Maggie. Um, hi guys, I'm Maggie Carpenter and I'm social media account executive at LukeWire, um, which means every time you see things come up on Instagram, that's my team. So um, excited to go over this toolkit with y'all and how you can kind of amplify your own regions as well as the awesome films we have ready to go. Yes, and uh, Maggie and I worked uh, with this, this team on the call here really closely throughout all pieces of this campaign. We're really close to it. We, we fostered it uh, from the beginning concepting stages to executing all 12 of these films with our uh, documentary filmmakers and getting everything in order. And yeah, we're, we're very excited to share with you how you guys can participate and how you guys can leverage all these assets that we got. Um, Scott, if you wanna hop to the next page here, that's really where we wanna start is we went through just quickly on the, uh, just talking through each of the films uh, a second ago when Katie was walking through those, you saw an image on the right side. We got a lot of really nice footage, a lot of images that showcase all these beautiful different activities across our state. So how can we provide that to you guys? So what our team did and what we wanted to provide to you are these campaign visual assets. So we have provided images, one image from each of the films that we shared for you guys to use, and we'll show you how to use those and also select video footage uh, for the uh, promoting the contest. And we'll talk through specifics of those as well. But again, all of these assets will be available to you to download on the partner toolkit uh, landing page. So how to use those assets. Um, sorry, real quick, Scott, <laughs> skip that there. Um, uh, to create a first at last itinerary is one thing we want to show you how to do. So. This is a social media post, um, could also be other ways, but we'll walk through, Maggie and myself, how to create your own first. That's based on your location, your destination, and as Katie mentioned, a first, a first experience, a first trip, a first activity that you can highlight from your destination. We wanna show you how to kind of craft that and how you can use either your own assets or the assets that we provided. The second thing here would be resharing the film. So when Katie and our team mentioned that we have a contest uh, for, for all 12 of these films, they're gonna have uh, basically a, a film contest to see and people would vote to see who the winner is for the grand prize. We wanna have you, you guys, the assets you need to share that out, to kind of promote any favorite films that you wanna see win, um, and also just to get the, the word out to your network. And the last thing is to the opportunity to engage in the YouTube premiere film series competition. Um, so this is, we want to have to kick off the whole competition, we want to have one time where on YouTube premiere, and we'll go into detail about this, where you can watch all of the films and it's a live feed where you can engage with other viewers who are watching it and, and other people who have showed up to that event. So kind of like a live event uh, opening show for the, the films there. So Scott, next page. All right, so first First thing that I mentioned there, we wanted to show you how to create an itinerary. So we'll be providing a guide to create uh, that content relevant to your brand, how, how you can create your first at last. And again, we'll walk through all of this in, in detail today, but we'll also be providing you a PDF. So that way well, you can refer back to it. You'll have all the, the notes and all the examples that we're sharing today for you to kind of refer back to, to create your own version. So uh, first at last itinerary here, our, our first step that we wanna share in this would be to, I think it's animating on here. Yeah, there. <laughs> Sorry, there Josh, we're, no, we're trying to figure out how to the enable chat for folks. It was, it was so close <laughs> to perfect. No. Um, yeah, the first thing we want you guys to do when, when building an itinerary is to choose a first. So selecting a first, as we mentioned, a first activity, a first trip, maybe a first location you wanna highlight from your destination 
that ideally is uniquely yours, something that you can own um, that can really just grab attention to the viewer, somebody uh, looking out from the outside, hey, I, I want to participate in that activity. I want that to be my first. So choosing that first is important. And as we mentioned, we're going to have images and assets for you to use, but you don't have to specifically use that image or asset or even specifically relate that to the film. Um, and we'll walk through how you do that, but you also you ultimately could as well. So it could relate to the film or location, but it doesn't have to. The second part after choosing your first would be to, yes, yeah, so select the photo and video um, or GIF. So we do ask that um, if you have photo and, and video and GIFs that highlight that specific destination that you're highlighting, by all means, that we want you to use that and, and highlight that first that you're talking about. But also, if it's like a music destination or something, there's beautiful footage and, and or there's beautiful images that we captured of, you know, Jacob's mandolin, for example, and that's a great shot. That could be a really nice image that you use just to kind of uh, lead into your first that you're talking about. So we'll show you how to do that. And then the last part is to craft uh, the post copy. And Maggie, our, our social media extraordinaire, and myself will walk you through how to do that, how to craft the post copy in the right way to make sure you're, you're uh, getting all the pieces in there to really work with the campaign and leverage our campaign. So that would be number bullet number three here, Scott, <laughs> if it's going to pop up. Yeah, there it is. So yeah, again, crafting the post copy and including hashtag visit and see. And we'll walk through that now. So we're going to walk you through examples here. Uh, just to give you these. And again, as I mentioned before, we'll have this in PDF form. So you don't have to write down everything or memorize it at this time. We'll provide it to you later as well. So creating an itinerary post. So there's, there's three different options we want to show you in creating this. And we want you to to look at these options and really think about which one works for me, what for, for my destination, for my uh, involvement in this campaign, which one kind of fits. So post option one is if the film, if one of the films, the 12 films um, is relevant to you by region or location. So if the film was shot in your location or at your specific location, maybe a post like this would work for you. So the post copy reads here and you'll see on the image on the right, it's this is just using a video from the partner. So this is something that you would already have in your library, um, this Outer Banks example here. Outer Banks would be the partner in this scenario, and this would be a video asset that they have. And the copy we, we would craft for this is, did you drop in with Wave Rider from at Visit NC's first at last short films? Make your own family-friendly tradition when visiting the Outer Banks with surfing, Spanish Mustangs, and the natural seashore, the northern beaches of NC have plenty to explore. And with the link below and hashtag visit NC. So Maggie, do you want to highlight some of the Facebook specific parts to this one? So yes. Uh, so for Facebook specifically on platforms like Facebook and Twitter, you can link directly to your intended page. Um, it, it makes it easy for people to click right on, um, you know, using the hashtag, you can click right to things. Um, but it's a little different when you get to Instagram, but for Facebook specifically, um, you can, it, people can see the link right there. They can click straight through to the page. Um, and we've also found that Facebook, you can make your caption a little bit longer and makes it super shareable for people. So if they see, you know, any first that they may have had, um, that's a really great way to make posts super shareable and super, you know, something they can send out to their own networks and spread the word. So um, it, it kind of does double work there, gives people travel inspiration um, while still kind of looping everything into the campaign. Yes. Uh, before we hop to the next one, just want to break down the parts of this post copy. So we open with the first line about talking about the film and making sure we tag Visit NC's first that last short film. So that that first sentence there just kind of gives context to your post. The at Visit NC is important so that the viewer of your social posts can, can click on that and go watch this short film if they haven't before. Since we're referencing, referencing it in the post, we want to make sure there is a way for them to view that. And then right into your 
um, specific first that you want to promote? Because again, this is just a little bit of leverage off from the first to last films, but right into the first that you want to promote. So that would be the next couple sentences and then making sure you link to, to your site or to your activity that you want them to do. Uh, the hashtag visit NC is just another way, just like the at visit NC tag in the first sentence, just another way for viewers to be able to click through to visit NC and see some of the visit NC content and make their way to the campaign that way. So again, just to recap this post option one, this is if the region and location is relevant to you. Uh, we can go to the next one, Scott, and see post option two. So post option two is if the activity is relevant to you. So first one's location. This one is activity. And in this case, uh, we're talking about music. So our partner over here would be using the Jacob's mandolin, Jacob's first mandolin uh, image uh, that we have here uh, that was shot. And then taking that and turning it into their first at last post. And I'll show you how they did that in the post copy here. So have you tuned into Jacob's Mandolin from at Visit NC's first that last short films? Check out the historical music scene across our state and experience the glory of live bluegrass and link and a little different here, uh, link in bio and hashtag Visit NC. So I'll have Maggie speak to that in a little bit, but just real quick on the activity again. This isn't location based. The, the Jacob's first mandolin isn't shot in the same place, but it's about music. The film is about music and the partner in this scenario would want to promote a music first. So that's the relevancy there. And Maggie, you want to talk to? Yeah. And so as you can see, this is an Instagram post. And so um, we typically don't suggest that you paste your links into um, Instagram captions because it doesn't make it super, you can't click on it. People would have to copy and paste into a browser, which makes them less likely to go to the page. So um, we recommend that you include the link in your bio and say link in bio or include in a link tree um, where you can put multiple links. And we'll touch on how that'll play into things later. Um, but, you know, having a single link where people can find a lot of things, like find all these different things that you may want to link to, it doesn't just have to be you, your itinerary or um, any post you share as a part of this campaign, but it is a helpful tool to have to share out multiple, like, links to inspire travel to your destination. Um, so even just your website or, um, you know, different activities in your area that you might want to share. So um, that's one recommendation I would say about um, Instagram and also keep using the hashtag visit NC hashtag because we do scroll through that every day and engage with those posts. Um, and, you know, that's a great way to make sure. And it's not just us scrolling through that hashtag, it's prospective travelers. So really, you know, looping yourself into it's super active hashtag. Um, that's what I have to say about Instagram. <laughs> super active hashtag. That's what we need to take from that. <laughs> All right. Next page, Scott. All right, uh, post option three. So again, for post option one, based on location. Post option two is based on activity in the film. Uh, the option three here is a little more general. So if you have a first that doesn't necessarily relate to the film or any of the specific films, but you still want to, you know, create a first that works with this campaign. We love that idea. Um, we also don't want you guys to feel like you have to try to find something that fits exactly if, if you want to just go this route, this is awesome too. So again, this is just not related to a specific activity or location. Uh, image over here to the right. So Linville Gorge image uh, in Discover Burke County is our example that we pulled here. And it's again, just beautiful shot. And this is an asset that the partner would provide. So this isn't from one of the films. And then our post copy here would be feel, feeling inspired after watching at Visit NC's first at last short films. We sure are. Here's a first for your next trip. Linville Gorge, the Grand Canyon of the East with link and bio. So you can see here how the post copy breaks down. It still refers to at visit NC and the campaign just to give the viewer context on why you're calling this a first at last. Just opening it up that way and then right into your specific first that you want to highlight. All three options have that same format, but this one as opposed little different than post option one and two. This one is more general. Have you seen the first at last short films instead of calling out 
a specific film. So that's the example here. So those three examples, that is the creating your own first itinerary post. And again, we'll provide all this later, but that's the, the first thing we'd like you to do to engage with this campaign. Uh, we can keep going to the next part. Josh, we did get a question oh, yeah. in the chat. Yes. Um, and someone's asked, will Visidency share our itineraries to Visidency social media channels? Um, we do have a content calendar that we try to stick to pretty regularly that includes a lot of first that last organic content. But when you use the hashtag and you tag us, that makes it really easy for us to engage with things. And that also um, helps your post with the algorithm. Um, and it also, you know, with Instagram and different social media networks now, um, you never know whose feed you're going to pop up onto. Because on Instagram now, if we're engaging with a post, that'll show up to our followers sometimes. Um, it all just depends on who, who you're following engages with. Um, so we will engage with your posts. We want to support you. Um, but we will not be resharing everything um, because we've shared our own itinerary content. So um, but we will engage and support you however we can. Yeah, great question. Great question. All right. Um, so the second part, so first one, creating your own first, creating your own first itinerary. The second part is to uh, drive votes to the film series competition. Again, this is the competition. You can see some information here. It runs from August 22nd through September 30th. And this is the competition where we're opening up voting for people to go and vote for their favorite film and the winner wins that grand prize uh, to help spread the word on the films in the region we would like to ask you yeah, share out uh, to your networks um, at general posts or if you want to specifically um, highlight uh, one of the films that was in your area that you would like to see win um, that's really all this is we would we would love for for your help and kind of getting the word out and, and also just to be involved in voting and, and letting people know. So uh, we'll click through here. Scott, I believe we we'll, we have some little animations on this slide too, I think. So we'll, show you, we'll walk through, Maggie and I will walk through how to create this post, just like the itinerary before. So the first step would be to select the voting photo or video. So uh, we're gonna, again, as I mentioned, we're gonna provide images and video assets uh, for you guys to download. Within those downloadable assets, there's a section that is labeled voting, and there's a photo and a video asset there for you to use. Uh, the video assets around 30 second video that takes a short clip from all of the films and then bookends it with uh, the voting CTA. And our image has like a collage background of a few of the films with that voting CTA that you'll see here. So again, selecting, do I want to post a photo or video? And selecting that asset. The second part here is, I believe, just crafting that post copy. Yep, there's an example of the image on the right over here. But yeah, the two is crafting the post copy. And Maggie and I will walk through exactly how to do that for this, this example here. And yeah, the image on the right is the static image. And uh, the video asset, we have a few still frames from that video. But when you get the downloadable assets, you'll be able to watch that through. All right, next page here. And a quick note, y'all, in terms of asking questions, I know we're having difficulties with the chat, um, but if you have any questions that pop up, feel free to throw them in the Q&A feature and we'll get those answered as uh, best we possibly can. Yes. All right, so post option one in the same way um, as the itinerary, we're breaking the driving votes out in the exact same way. So if the film that you want to reference is based on region or location, that's relevant to you. Um, so our region location that we wanna talk about the Coco Cinnamon making wave spot uh, or making wave short film, that's the one we wanna feature. We want our viewers to go vote for that one just because we like it or it's in our area. This is an example of how you would post like that. So. Again, using the video asset in this instance. So the video asset on Instagram and the copy would go, but first coffee, support the Triangle Roasters by voting for Making Waves in the At Visit NC First at Last film competition. View the link in the bio. And with the bio link below, which is the visitnc.com First at Last film series. So driving people 
to the, the location where they can vote for the video. So this is one example of how to do it. Uh, post option two here on the next page. Yeah. Um, this is referencing a film with the, an activity that's relevant to you. So if you're a, a hiking destination and the film is of hiking and that's the one you really love and you want to get your audience out there, uh, that's this is an example of how to do that. So hiking the Appalachian Trail is, a, is no easy feat. Vote for the fellow outdoor enthusiasts and so far for at Visit NC's first at last film competition. And we can be all, all reminded to be, uh, we can all be reminded to do the extraordinary link in the bio. And in this example, also an Instagram post, instead of using the video asset, they chose to use the static image asset here, which has just a collage of all the different films with the CTA vote for your favorite. Um, and a quick note here about Instagram. This is where the link tree comes in. Um, if you want to, you know, plug a film or the film festival in one link, and then also, you know, add the link to the voting, um, you can add those as separate entries in a link tree. And then um, you can define each link as like, vote here or, you know, check out this film here. Um, and so it really breaks it down and for followers. So you're not changing your link in bio all the time, um, because I know how frustrating that can get. Um, but if you have any questions about how to do a link tree, just let me know. Yeah, yeah, that'd be a great one uh, to include. And either the Q&A, we can answer that today. But also that PDF that I mentioned that we'll be sending out with all of these details also will have a frequently asked questions section that we can include some information like that, how to do the link tree or link in the bio information as well. And just to let everybody know, we fixed the chat functionality. So you are now uh, welcome and open to start throwing your questions in the chat. Sorry about the technical difficulties. Thanks for being patient with us. Awesome. All right, and the, the last option here for the driving votes example, uh, is just a general in the same way uh, as before. So if, if we don't want to feature a specific film that's in our location, or if we don't want to feature a specific film that's based on an activity that that the partner or that we would like to feature, um, this is just a general one. And we also have, uh, we're showing here an Instagram story. So we have provided assets in that story nine by 16 ratio size. Also, you saw before in the feed sizes, we provide provided that as well. So this is an example of a partner who decided to use, uh, wanted to do an Instagram story, use the video asset in the nine by 16 size, and just added some copy of their own right on top of that video with a link to vote now. Um, and I'll read the copy here. Uh, the competition is on. Watch all 12 of the at visit NC's first at last short films and vote for your favorite. Only one unforgettable trip will be crowned with a vote now link button, link tag on the story. So uh, Maggie, since it's the first story and anything you wanna add there on this one? Yeah, stories are great because if you wanna, if you have a like a very committed Instagram following, um, but don't wanna figure out a bio link or stuff like that, um, stories are a really good happy medium and you can, there's a link sticker that you can both put the link in, people can click right on it. It takes them to the site in the app. They don't have to leave the feed. Um, and then you can also customize the text over the sticker. So right here where it says vote now, usually it would populate to um, say like visitnc.com, but you can change that to say vote now. So it makes it even more clear where to click and where that'll take you. Um, and that's also, we can add a step-by-step -step if needed in the, um, in the toolkit. Um, but it is a helpful, convenient tool just as people are scrolling. Um, and then we do, we did get a question about whether Visit NC needs to approve social media posts before you post them. And that's no, I mean, we, you know your followers best, um, but if you do need help or advice on how to create your posts, craft them, um, we're always here for that. Yep. Yeah, great note. Um... Yeah, one, one thing I'd like to add just before we, we head to that next part, which is the YouTube premiere event. Um, we just showed two examples of 
social posts and ways to engage with this campaign. The first being create an itinerary and showed you three post copy examples. The second one is, to, hey, how we want you guys to engage in driving votes and being involved in voting. And we showed you three post copy examples for that. These are by no means, you know, hey, you have to follow it this way. These are just structured in a way for, for you guys to kind of see how it's done. Um, there, there are ways that we are thinking about, like making sure you at visit and see and mention the first at last short films things like that to get the leverage of the campaign. But by all means, as Maggie mentioned, we're, we're not going to be approving these. We want you guys to have, have fun with these post copy options. Use these as just like a guide, but really do it in your own voice um, for your own audience and make it your own. So that's what we want to do. Um, and yeah, that's all I have on, on these. Go to the, the next page and, and Maggie, are you, are you taking this one over? Um, I'm going to be joined by Kylie. Yes. <laughs> Hello. Um, I'm Kylie Springle. Some of you um, may recognize me. Um, others, very pleased to, to have you joining us today. I'm an account director with Luke Wire. Uh, the Partner Toolkit uh, YouTube premiere aspect, um, we're very excited about this. Um, to roll out the film series competition, which there was a question about that, um, and I'll, I'll touch on that very quickly. Um, the film series competition is the voting period in which we have all 12, 12 films live. Um, and so now we're opening up um, the films for public vote um, to give us an ultimate film series competition winner. There was a people's choice aspect of this campaign and that was to determine our 12th and final film. Um, so that happened um, several months ago and that film went into production um, and is live on the site as of this week. Uh, hopefully that uh, helps helps clear that up. But um, to roll out this competition with a bang, we're releasing a YouTube premiere on Wednesday, August 24th at 8 p.m. To do this, we'll enable a public watch page on YouTube, the Visitancy YouTube page in advance of the premiere date. Um, and then a countdown will be enabled. So that'll remind folks um, to check back and tune in um, when that goes live, um, August 24th at 8 p.m. Uh, the premiere itself is a compilation of all 12 of the films. It will be stitched together consecutively with a live chat component for all viewers. Um, so some live engagement that'll happen there. Um, we will be able to have users subscribe or set a notification reminder to tune back in, um, as I mentioned, during that time. And then we'll also be promoting on our social channels um, to drum up interest and, and remind folks um, to subscribe and, and tune in at that time. Uh, the best part of this, you're invited. Um, so to participate, join in August 24th at 8 p.m. on our YouTube page. Um, we'll also make sure a link gets sent out in advance, um, and you can likely find uh, the link to it on our social channels um, when we post a drum up interest with um, consumers as well. Make a party out of it, grab some popcorn, cozy up. Uh, we have reached out to the filmmakers of these films as well to join. Um, and as I mentioned, consumers will be joining. So we're expecting lively activity in the live chat functionality during that and potentially some friendly competition. Where can you find these assets? We covered quite a bit today. Um, again, as Josh mentioned, um, there will be um, a toolkit document available for you and images and copy examples. Um, so we are packaging that up. Those assets will be available for download and your use at um, partners.visitnc.com under the webinars section. So we'll be able to add this um, as a link for download um, where you may have found the link to this webinar. Uh, and the voting period begins Monday, August 22nd on visitnc.com. Um, so a couple days before the YouTube premiere, uh, but keep an eye out for that. And we're excited for you all to be able to um, participate in this campaign and leverage um, its reach and engagement to promote your own destinations and businesses. 
Great. Thanks, Kylie and team. I did want to go ahead before we open up for more questions to make some clarifications that um, I'm hoping will help you all understand a little bit more about what we're doing. So this is Visit North Carolina's marketing campaign for the year. It's it's a, a unique take on it because we actually got, you know, outside filmmakers to create this content for us to have a, a more authentic and unique um, way of um, promoting our state. And because it's it's really such a unique place, we wanted to show that inspiration to all of you so that if you have other ways that you can participate, leverage the campaign, which we are putting a lot of time, a lot of effort and a lot of dollars behind um, to basically, you know, we're, we're getting people to come to the state to get excited about the myriad things that people can do in the state. And then it's up to y'all um, you know, you have the opportunity to say, well, this is the specific thing that you can do in my region. Um, this is a first that will last in your memory um, that you'll take home with you and, and want to share with all of your friends and family and hopefully come back and do again um, within the specific place that you all represent. So I think I didn't do a very good job of explaining that um, first off. So basically we were just wanting to share with you all what we're doing at a state level to get folks from outside of the state and outside of the country to be interested in visiting North Carolina so that then you have the opportunity to market your own places, your own businesses, your own experiences, experiences to them. Um, so, you know, this is very much meant to be something that um, can inspire some of your, your continued work and we are available. Um, my contact information will be listed late, later in the slide. Um, if you have questions, if you want uh, ideas around what you could do within your own community, we are available to help with that. Um, but just wanted to drop that clarification in. And if you all have other questions, please let us know. Um, very excited to be sharing this campaign with all of you. So I think we can, oh, Margaret asked a great question. So yes, there, this is our advertising campaign um, for um, this year um, until, and Scott, I think you can, you kind of touched on that, but if you can share a little bit more about that, this is dictating all of our advertising copy, um, the, you know, paid media, paid social, we have print ads going out about it. It's all taking off of the films of, um, you know, these different experiences that uh, the films represent. So yes, we are putting quite a lot of uh, support behind it. Yeah, this campaign will run now with the truncated time frame with the funds, this campaign will run through December. So this is our calendar year campaign now. It was supposed to be a full fiscal year and, and it has been, but the paid part is now really going to be a crunch down six month time frame here between now and the end of the year. So and we'll have a, a new campaign we'll roll out to everybody at the conference next year in Nashville. So. And if anyone wants to uh, ask a question, I think we can unmute you um, to ask it live, or you can, of course, just drop it into the chat. All right, well, if there's no questions right now, you guys know how to get a hold of us. Um, make sure you've got Katie's contact information and you know how to get a hold of me as well. So happy to take questions offline later. Like you said, we'll have this recording up on the website, um, hopefully later today or first thing tomorrow, along with that partner toolkit as well. And we'll make sure to put a, 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 a section in the news link, you know, to kind of share it back out as well, especially as we get ready for the YouTube premiere coming up here. Um, but I wanted to kind of remind everybody that our next partner webinar is going to be a um, panel discussion that will host on September 8th. We'll 
we'll be talking about accessibility in your destination and marketing efforts and what are some of the first steps you can do to improve those areas. So we'll be partnering with Visit Raleigh on that. Um, we recently did a partner assessment um, for their All Access Wake County program, where they'll be showing a little bit of that work that they have done as an example um, that led up to them hosting the 2022 LEAD, uh, which is a Leadership Exchange and Arts and Disability Conference. So look forward to that one. You can register for it already on that same partner's um, website, and we look forward to talking to you all again next month and hopefully in between then on this um, campaign. Thank you very much for your time this morning. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, thank you guys. Thanks, Phil.